Now, let's talk about shifting. Shifting is used to maintain a comfortable pedaling cadence. Cadence is the speed that we are pedaling, or revolutions per minute of the cranks and pedals. Shifting is often highlighted when climbing, as shifting to an easier gear allows the rider to continue without getting exhausted. Gear selection is critical to many other skills, such as ratcheting, climbing restarts, track stands, pedaling front wheel lifts, and sprinting. Always be in a gear that allows you to accelerate. When the gear is too easy, the rider is pedaling, but nothing is happening. When the gear is too hard, the rider is struggling just to get the cranks around. In either case, they are not able to accelerate. The teaching points for shifting are surge or pedal hard for a couple pedal strokes to gain momentum, soft pedal or pedal lightly as you're about to shift, shift gears with the shifter at the handlebars, and then lastly, after the chain is done moving to the next gear, resume pedaling normally. To review, surge, soft pedal, shift, and resume. You can demonstrate why the surge and soft pedal is important with a static demonstration. Show how the chain is tight when you push hard on the forward pedal. Then push lightly and show how the chain is then able to move more easily. For your moving demonstration, shift one gear at a time while riding through the standard runway of cones. Exaggerate your surge by leaning into the handlebars and appearing to be straining. Here are appropriate progressions for your practice period. Have riders repeat what you did through the runway of cones. Next, introduce a small incline and repeat. The third and last progression is to create a rectangle or similar shape with cones on a large sloped area. Have riders shift to easier gears while riding up the slope. Then shift to harder gears when going down. It is often a good idea to play follow the leader for a lap or two to show the riders what to do. What are some common things to look for during your observation, air detection, and correction? The chain is slow to move when shifting or is noisy. The rider needs to surge and soft pedal more. They may need to shift earlier on a climb or not at all to avoid damaging the drivetrain. Number two, shifting is noisy and inconsistent. Check the shifter and derailleur adjustment to ensure that it is shifting properly. Here are some bonus tips related to shifting. Use the terminology easier and harder when describing shifting. The rider will feel the difference when they're climbing as it becomes easier when they shift to an easier gear. Conversely, when they need to pedal harder to accelerate, they should get into a harder gear. Number two, the surge is often not required when shifting on a downhill. The bike moves forward more easily while pedaling due to gravity. The exception may be if they're really trying to accelerate quickly. In that case, they should shift and soft pedal before attempting to accelerate. Bonus tip number three. Shifting is critical to many skills, but is often overlooked and not appreciated. Riders may fail at many challenges simply because they are in the wrong gear. Highlight gear selection whenever applicable and reinforce good shifting technique. Bonus tip number four. Shifting or gear selection can be added as a progression to many other skills, activities, or games. Using different gears during a slow race, dual slalom race, climbing, short course, and so on. As you're teaching shifting to your student athletes, point out to them that they should be shifting one gear at a time. If they find themselves in a scenario where they've got to shift multiple gears at the same time, it may be because they waited too long to shift. And the last bonus tip is related to front derailleur shifting. Thankfully, many of our bikes these days are coming with one-by drivetrains and a front derailleur is not even required. That makes it much easier for us to teach shifting to student athletes. But many bikes still have front chain rings and a front derailleur in order to shift from one chain ring to the next. When teaching shifting and using the front derailleur, just point out to student athletes that they'll need to allow extra time for that chain to move from one chain ring to the next because of the difference in size from one chain ring to the other. Thanks for watching this video on shifting. I look forward to seeing you again in the next video related to climbing.